with me on my trip tomorrow. I gotta get up at 4 a.m. And at 5.15 a.m. I'm gonna start putting in four Ubers. So I don't get left by the train, okay? Because it's like 10 minutes from the house to the train station. So I need to put in fast as I can, right? So, okay. And I'm gonna backpack this time. This backpack was $60 on sale for Emacs. I wish I had to get an Emacs. Yes. I used to like their purses. Cause I had a purse from them a long time ago. And look at this. I cinched it in even more. It's really comfortable. Sure, I can't handle a crossbody bag. So I got this. Oh, it's making noise, but I'm still here. <laughs> what is it? 
train. Coming to Chicago, I didn't know it'd bring you right out to the street. Clean it off. That's crazy. I'm trying to think which way to go. Oh, she was locked up. <sighs> Where am I going? I have no idea. Excuse me. Okay, this is a ham panini from the hotel I'm at. Um, y'all, it's very, very tough ham to eat, but it actually tastes good though. Does that make sense? See what I'm saying? What it looks like? It's really good though. It's really good. It's ham and pesto and tomatoes and arugula. And they just take it out the freezer. They charge you thirteen dollars for it. Seriously, which is funny. <laughs> Ham tough though. Tastes like a good grilled cheese, really for me. And it's off a of free place, so you're going to lose nothing. Lord, that does not give much. Why have you playing this game? It's horrifying. I'm sorry, I did it. I hit it hard. I stopped. This is pretty much a little teeny casino situation.
everybody. Okay, so we're doing it again. This time I got a real setup, seriously. The setup is real this time on this trip. I'm in Chicago. I didn't know to get Pizzeria Uno or Do, but I went to Do instead. Do they make the same thing? I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I don't know which one to get. So I got the Umaro Numero. Umaro Numero. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, so put that on top of me. Oh, they didn't cut it. See, this is why. Oh, it's not cut. Oh my God, it's not cut. I forgot what was on this pizza. I know, that's bad. But before I eat this pizza, because I can't, I, I gotta eat for your cup. It was $16.95 for this pizza. Very little. It's okay, I'm by myself. I went to Trader Joe's. I got a Trader Joe's bag. Only because I went ahead on there. It has Chicago on it. So I bought one. And I went to Marshall's too. Um, I don't know what was happening in that pizza place. But something crazy happened. I'm not even y'all something crazy happened at the pizza place though. So. Um I gave her a 20. They didn't want to take cash. They just wanted credits. Y'all better be happy I have a credit card because, or a debit card because I don't even know food. Okay, so I need a phone case, but it's so cute. And it's pink. And if it's the iPhone 13, 14, 15, I have a 13, which I am filming on right now. So I got this case. <sighs> case. And then, Else. I know this is the saddest thing I got out of Marshalls. I got the sesame seed snacks. I love sesame seed candy and it's hard to find it. So when you find it, you buy it. These are $3.99. And this expiration date was 2025. So I was like, I'm getting it. And yeah. Can't be 3 dollars This yeah, I got a fork <laughs> from downstairs. <laughs> Being a Trader Joe's, I saw some cookies. Yo, the piece of juice got on it. I'm sorry, I said it. But I got some cookies. It's actually a strawberry shortcake cookies. So I got one of those out of Trader Joe's. Got that. Bring that back home too. I'm not gonna eat it here. I'm gonna eat it all the way back. Then yeah, I want something really off the top. Does it look good in the store? So I got sucked into buying it. I got sucked into buying it because it looks good at peaches. And it was about three dollars a bag, so why not? You know? Something to stand for. I'm in the room and they got a lot of pizza juice on this bag too. Yo, it's a lot of pizza juice. Mm. I'm gonna put this in the big writer. So I got me a cliff bar, cliff seed bar, and these peaches. That should hold me for a four to five hour trip home, right? You don't need a lot. You don't need a lot of stuff, y'all. Oh my god, this is so gross. There's piece of juice on everything, y'all. Look how I got on the gum. It's not for me, though. He puts piece of juice everywhere. I gotta get a towel or something to wipe this out. If I, if I get dried up. But yeah, that's all the stuff I bought. No, it's not. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> we got the lemon sheet cake from Trader Joe's, too. They got the... Uh, the six on it. I might. I'm, I'm gonna try to eat it before I leave. Okay, like, it's too big, so we can eat. Oh god, I forgot to get the the juice off this. Let me go. It smells like a dip. It smells like natural mint instead of the fake mint oil. Oh, and we're gonna try the peach Pepsi. I'm gonna try this before I eat this pizza though. 
because it's, I don't know what it tastes like. That's what I need a straw for. I can't drink out of bottle. Oh, the point finish will make me sound. And I can use this with my drink tonight, so. That's hard. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I never did show myself finish eating. I never finished showing myself eating because I was on the phone for like an hour. I ate a little bit of the cake. It's really good. It tastes more like cheesecake, though. That lemon um, mini sheet cake from Trader Joe's tastes like cheesecake to me. I don't know. Because it's cream cheese frosting, probably. Um, the, the pizza, I don't like the crust that much on that one. I like Giordano's. They just, mm, I think so. Ooh, my legs hurt. Ugh. My legs are really hurting. That is horrible. I'm so tired right now. We are going like crazy right now, but this is crazy. It's not a good liquor. They cannot be not one degrees right now. Look how long this hallway is, everybody. And we're walking, actually, this is, look, I'm walking to the elevator, right? My room is all the way down at the end of this way. Yeah. How did I get myself into this? And then look. When you get to the corners like this, there are more rooms down these hallways. And they have the two pancakes in here. That's if I even get to it. Not good enough. Because I don't get to it. I don't know where you're just eating. Oh, okay. That's not that big. Got the omelet. This better be good. This was $21. Oh, this is $21. So please be good. <laughs> please be good. That's bad to call it that. I like that. Tasty. Did this need any salt? Nope. You don't need anything. Mmm. Those sounds are good. Yes, I thought that they said they don't have hash browns. They don't have hash browns. Okay. Hey, that looks good. Let's go straight for the middle. So we can see the inside of it. Ooh, this smells so good. And it took them um, about less than 10 minutes to do my order. It wasn't hard to go by in there yet. Probably later. Taste it by itself first. Mm. That's good. I should have flipped around. Plus, it needs some salt. This needs the salt, y'all. And we have orange juice. I just got two or two juices and a cookie from the lobby. Because they gave you a credit for your room. And this stuff was $16. For two of these. And a cookie. Let me show the cookie. 
It's two in here, actually. I don't know. I might not get to it because I still got the, the lemon cake. I might. I want that lemon cake later. I'm going to eat that probably later, so. They'll probably eat, eat some of that. Oh my god, I'm so good. Yeah, we ate that. That's all that's left for that. <laughs> I got the pancakes still, so. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot, y'all. It's a lot of food. <laughs> Here are the pancakes. After you put everything on it, they are really good. It tastes more like a, a French toast to me. I don't know why. It tastes like French toast to me. I don't know. But it's really good. And we got our set up. Now they just had um, one of the AEW wrestlers on the news um show this morning too which is nice um that was crazy i didn't even know that was gonna happen so that was nice So right now I'm waiting on my ride to get back and I didn't know how bad it was. Cause all this I don't even know where I'm at to be honest. I'm just walking around. And yeah, I'm just walking around anywhere, right? So well I noticed in this area Van Buren and Clemens. In Chicago, it's like a lot of people, unhoused people. Yeah. Is Big big back. When you're in the
down from Winchester Arena to South Loop Market on Michigan Avenue. So I was trying to find something because I was really needing something to drink to or some juice before I come back to the hotel. Um, so I was walking for the store and as soon as I put in for a ride, the guy got there he saw me and drove off basically that's what happened so i was upset because i'm like it's 10 o'clock i don't even know where i'm at problem with the drivers or anything hopefully everything goes well in a couple hours <laughs> when i get ready to go to the amtrak station <laughs> so hopefully that goes good well i might take a video on a train then you know it went good yeah, if I can take a picture or a video on the train. I can't wait to get home, you guys. I just, I'm just ready to go home. And I'm pushing it anyway because, I, like I said, I have to leave here. Like, a little bit after five, I'm gonna leave here. Because I don't know. Um... Yeah, I'm only a little bit after 5. Like 5.15, try to put it down to the lobby and check out and stuff. Because I have no information about that here. That's the way I did it. I don't, I don't even know what's going on with that either. All that garbage. <laughs> from trying food. I feel bamboozled from... Paying ten dollars for a hot dog tonight too. I needed that hot dog because, to be honest, I was feeling really weird because I haven't eaten. I got home when I get home. It seems that dirt come off. I don't even know where it came from. The dirt, but I'm gonna try. Um, I call when I get home. Okay, my other charger is right there. So you can see what time it is. I really need to get some sleep. So I can get up tomorrow because, yeah, I'm picking up. Otherwise, it ain't going to be right, you know? I'm just ready to go get in my bed. That's another thing. I just want to get in my bed tomorrow afternoon. Probably watch TV when I get home for a little bit. I might go just 
I just want to go get my bed. I really miss my bed. It's only been two days since I've been in my bed, and I miss it so much. I left Tuesday. Today is um, Wednesday. <laughs> it's only gone for two nights, and I feel like I feel like I've been gone for it. That I left it like that. I leave closets open because I don't like them closed when I'm in a hotel. Anyone else like that? I don't know anybody. Oh, my legs hurt. The walk is too much. They hurt. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to try to get some sleep. I turn my alarm up really high so I can get up. <sighs> and try to be, get everything together by five. So I can just at 5.15 get everything together. Get myself an hour and 15 minutes to get myself together. You know, you know. So that's what we're trying to plan is. Before it coming here, I didn't even get the bid. So that was, that was sad, y'all. And I put the highest amount you can bid. You know what I'm So, and plus, as far as trips go, I think um if i do another train trip i don't want to come back to chicago i want to go somewhere new but a lot of them link up here though so i have to do that if it's, it comes to that but i don't really want to come back here again this is my third time here in chicago like i said before and um i'm just ready for a different place and stuff I really want to go to Niagara Falls next. And that would be on a bus, though, which is even better. Because I've done a bus trip before. And it wasn't bad at all. I took The second time I came here, I took the Flix bus. It was really fast to get here. Because it was only one. They only make one stop on Flix. They stop in Ann Arbor and then. Chicago and it was like like four hours because that guy was driving fast but it was really quick really quick so I'm watching the news again it come on at 4 a.m. and it didn't go off until 10 o'clock yesterday the news 2 o'clock in the morning because I didn't leave the room until um yeah, it's after a little bit after ten yesterday, I went to State Street and came back here around two o'clock to get some rest before I went to wrestling last night. Cause I left at uh, I left here at six at six after six o'clock. Cause I was like, I'm not gonna try to be there early, early. And yeah, you already know what happened last night, so we're gonna talk about that. This is bag like i said i was trying to figure out how to fit everything back i was like just put everything that you came with the way that you had it when you came here first that was like like just put it the way that you had it when you first came here that would be the most logical thing and you work the stuff that you bought into that space you know that's how we figured it out. My blanket came in great because I don't know, y'all. I've been cold. I'm so happy I put the blanket in here in my pillow because it's been, I've been using it. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, and the room number is 1461. It is really long. Popped in my purse over there. Um, I took all food out of my purse. That's another thing. And then put it into that bag. That would be a little easier. I'm just so tired. I'm just ready to go. And then I need to go downstairs, down to the lobby, and ask them about this checkout because I have zero idea. Usually the tea is telling you something but it's not telling you anything in here either but this whole place is kind of weird when i really think about it now it's, it's just been weird
that I've been wearing to walk around. And then I had a pair of like sandals to walk around the room in. That's in my bag already. All my garbage, cause I kept buying food. So we getting ready to get up out of here. So let me take a picture of myself. Let's head to Sunray. Other than Crabtree, it's a little fine. It's not gross. Look how I left the bed though. I ripped beds up, so it's fine. I rip it up every time. It's just a thing that I do to the bed <laughs> when I'm by myself. I don't know what that's about. Look, we gotta get the lotion. I, I, I like this lotion. I had it before at other ones. I didn't have a tissue. I mean, I got stuff to eat on. I'm gonna buy a, a breakfast sandwich at the Union Station, I think. Or do they sell breakfast sandwiches in this building? In this, um, it probably costs a lot in here. I'm not gonna buy one here. So I'm about to go to the bathroom. And, oh, <laughs> I forgot it is the 4th of July. I don't even think about holidays. They only gave me one sheet. He didn't even ask me, y'all. He didn't ask me. Is anybody with you? No, nobody even asked me at this time. Usually I get asked, is somebody with you? I didn't get that question this time. That's how lonely I look. That nobody asked me. This bed is weird. I'm sorry. You got scruff marks everywhere. Hairboard is scruff marked up. I like how that is made on the top. It was these little weird fly bugs in here. So I left open. My purse, my little baggie. I think you can put it on your shoulder, but my shoulder is not hitting right today. So yeah, we're all packed up and ready to go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it's um 5.30 and my train leave at 6.45, so I need to go. Oh, really? I had a lot. So I pretty much got an hour and 15 minutes before I was home. Look, the long hallway. Last time I walked over here, my mom. Having a long My back is puffed stuffed, but I don't feel it. I don't feel bad. I'm tired. <laughs> now we get to go to business class. Oh, no, no, no. Here we go on the elevator. Watch this. This one I'm meant to put on here. How about this elevator? Look at the numbers. Whoa. Twilight zone, yes. Twilight zone. I love this light though. Chicago. Yeah. 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 
This place is so tiny. It's so tiny. I just don't feel like going outside yet. <laughs> stations and stuff because the Amtrak station is pretty like only 10 minute ride from my house so it's really fast to get home so that's great I definitely need to talk about what happened this morning I already made a review about it I'm like why my last couple things I've done is just a disaster with this whole Chicago trip right um Chicago I don't understand the crazy Uber driver situation, and then, um, being at the, um, train station this morning, that staff is very rude, very rude staff member, it was just one person, in particular, the one that was boarding for the train that was on, that was on the, the Uber Ring 350, yeah, we left at 6 45 a.m. And yeah, that was all I was asking is well, how are you boarding, right? Because I never bought business class before. And I know 
I don't know your priority, you know, in the boarding. That you like see your citizens and you right. And people about business class going first, right? And they're like, yeah. When I expect them, this is gonna happen, right? I was happy. But how did that work? So I'm listening to him do the announcement. He just walked right past me. And he started announcing business class and senior citizens, right? I'm like, did I just ask you about that? I was like, I just asked him about it. And I was like, in the front of the line for boarding anyway. Because it was like two different lines formed, right? So I was in front anyway, and he just walked right past me. I didn't really want to answer what I was asking anyway. So that was weird. Very weird. And then it was looking at me crazy when he came back from asking this question, okay? And it's like, oh, y'all can just go sit. Hey, queen, the next person, because there's those two different guys doing it. He didn't say nothing. He didn't act weird like that. But that was weird. And, and see, I'm like, that's kind of weird. Like, oh, what was I supposed to do? I thought about the board last, pretend like I don't have uh, a certain type of ticket. That's how I was feeling today. And I can't, uh, and for anybody asks, it's not a racist thing. So it's a dude with black, I am black too. So it wasn't being racist. I just don't understand why he had attitude towards me. I don't know why. This has happened to me. This is the second time, like I said. Since I lived in Chicago, this happened. We had a white guy. It was a, a white guy with, with, with the um, Uber situation last night. And if, you, if you're afraid of your job, yeah, or I think, I think another thing with the Uber, he should have been canceled the ride. He never even came by me because I realized something when I was looking at that pray. Because I, I forgot. It was like a lot of this going on in Chicago last night, right? Because right after this guy canceled me, I was going to go back to Uber to try to get a ride back because I was trying to get to the hotel last night. That's what it was. It was almost 10 o'clock. I left the wrestling event early. I left after they did the TV live TV show. I just say to watch the live TV show that they, they filmed first. And I didn't stay for the, for them to film this Friday show filming. I didn't stay for that one. Because I wanted to get hurry up and get back to the hotel. So I could have at least a couple hours to sleep before I get on the train today, right? That was the whole point. So I went down the street. And went to South Loop Market. And I stayed by there for like, I was standing by there, standing by the, um, that, that store because I went in the store and got some stuff. And then I was standing in the store for a little while waiting. I was, wait, I was actually standing in the store waiting for the Uber, right? Because I don't know anything about the area. It was pretty busy street though. So, after he left, I ended up going, like, down to where the South Loop, it was, like, it was a restaurant that was closed, and I was, like, standing in her doorway, so I, nobody could come up behind me, because that's what I do when I'm somewhere walking by myself sometimes. I was just standing, like, trying to stand against the wall, or stand up in the door, lay up against the doorway, so I... I don't have to keep looking behind me type of thing. So that's what I was doing. And after I called the second, after when I called for a lift the second time, and he came in like five minutes, and no problem. I told him thank you. I actually gave him a tip because I was, he went above and beyond to get me back to the place. But he told me that he thinks the guy did that to me because it was, a, the fireworks was letting out, he said. 
and a lot of people start going towards the the Navy Pier area because he said that's where he was heading next since he was on Michigan Avenue that's where the hotel was at he said since it was over in that area he said he was heading towards the fireworks area that's why he took my call took my ride because he was like he can still see if anybody need a ride from there and get extra money so I was like oh maybe that's why he left me I don't know or I don't like me I have no idea and I'll check the app to make sure I wasn't charged <laughs> this morning and stuff before I when I was on the train um but yeah I had weird customer service issues <laughs> And towards the end though, and it was really weird because, like I said, I don't know if I said this last night in my video, but I was here because I'm not from Chicago, I'm from Detroit, I don't know, I don't know these streets, so I don't really know it, and I had no weapons on me because I had to go to that arena. All I got is my purse, I can strangle somebody with my purse and cut somebody up with my fingernails, you know? Use my fingernails to cut somebody up. That's all I can do. It's a Japanese fight. I hide or something, but I don't got nothing on me, you know? So yeah, that's what happened. We're finally closing out this video. Um, my Chicago AEW is an experience. And I'm like, oh, I never said about what happened at the show. The show was actually really good. I had a great time at the show, you know. I was just telling me that location. I had a great time at the show. I, I like when trust me. It was really nice. It's really, the show was good. That's all I can say about the show. It's good. And I saw all my favorites wrestlers. Finally see all my favorite except for the one I really wanted to see and that was Swerve Strickland. I want to see him but he was not there but it's okay. I saw it, all the other ones that I wanted to see so I was happy that I finally got to see it in person. Despite all the crazy stuff that happened after. I was still happy with my trip to Chicago this time. It was really fun. And the crazy part is, I did all this stuff in two days. I'm sorry, in two days. It's flat, that's it. And I feel, I was so, I was, I was just tired when I got home today. Because I've been pretty much going on stop hanging out since I was there. And trying out a lot of stuff, doing stuff, but it's good. I liked it. This thing, it said it was fingerprint free, right? You see all these fingerprints on this screen protector. <laughs> I didn't expect that. You didn't expect anything to happen in life in here. Well, thank you for watching. If you still ain't here this long, because this is another long video. I know it's long because I tried to edit this on the train and I gave up because it was too long to edit on the train and I'm editing it now in my computer. I had to transfer all this from the iPhone to the computer and y'all know that's hard but I made it happen. So bye.